Question 2.1 consists of five maps and plans questions that were designed to assess your understanding of road maps. You are given a road map in Annex A that shows the Central Business District or CBD of Cape Town, including a part of Sea Point. You are also given an arrow that points to the direction of north. Keys along with the descriptions for the symbols of the map are also given as well as a ratio scale of 1 to 15,000 is provided. In question 211, you have to write down the type of map that shows a part of Cape Town. The type of map displayed here on Annex A is known as a street or road map. In question 212, you have to write down the name of the area where the cricket field is situated. From the key and description list in Annex A, we see that the cricket field is given by this symbol. On the map, we see that this symbol is shown over here. The name of the area where a cricket field is situated is Green Point. In question 213, it is stated that the person wants to drive from the Civic Center to Somerset Hospital. You have to describe the shortest route along the M6 using the names of the streets and the direction the person needs to travel to the hospital. Using the map and the direction of north on the map, we see that if a person drives from the Civic Center to Somerset Hospital, they will follow the following directions. Drive on Allen Sussman Boulevard in an easterly direction, then turn into Portswood Road in a northeasterly direction, Somerset Hospital will be on the right at the corner of Portswood and Beach Road. In question 214, it is stated that a person walks from the campus, which is the CPUT Granger Bay campus, to Somerset Hospital and back on a daily basis. He walks from Monday to Friday, but on Wednesday he does not walk because he needs to attend a special class. In question 214a, you have to use the scale of the map to determine the real distance in kilometers if the measured length between CPUT and Somerset Hospital is 6 cm on the map. This means that for every 1 cm measured on the map, there are 15,000 cm in reality. Since the measured length between CPUT and Somerset Hospital is 6 cm, the actual distance between these two locations will then be calculated as 15,000 multiplied by 6 cm and this equals 90,000 cm in reality. Since the question requires us to provide the answer in kilometers, we are going to have to convert the 90,000 cm to kilometers. We should remember that there are 100,000 cm in 1 km. So 90,000 centimeters will equal 90,000 divided by 100,000 centimeters per kilometer and this equals 0 0,9 kilometers. So the actual distance between CPUT and Somerset Hospital is 0 0,9 kilometers. In question 214b, you are instructed to calculate Tando's total weekly distance in kilometers. Since he walked from campus to Somerset Hospital and back on a daily basis, he will walk a total distance per day of 0 0,9 kilometers multiplied by 2 and this would give us a total distance per day of 1,8 kilometers. Since he walks from Monday to Friday excluding Wednesdays, he will walk a total distance of 4 days per week. So the total weekly distance will be equal to 1,8 kilometers per day Multiply by 4 days a week and this equals 7,2 kilometers per week. Question 2.2 .2 consists of two maps and plan questions and one probability question that were designed to assess your understanding of seating plans. You are given a diagram in Annex B that shows a seating plan of Cape Town Stadium. You have to use Annex A as well as Annex B to answer the questions that follow. In question 221, you have to determine the direction in which a person will face when leaving through entrance 3 and you have to provide a reason for your answer. From the seating plan on Annex B, we see that if a person exits the stadium through entrance 3, 
they will be facing the VNA waterfront. Now on the map on Annex A, we see that Cape Town Stadium is located here and VNA waterfront is located here. Using the direction of north given on Annex A, we know that east is to the right of north, west is to the left of north and south is in the opposite direction of north. So if a person leaves Cape Town Stadium and they are facing the direction of the VNA waterfront, they will be facing in an easterly direction. So the correct answer would be east. In question 222, you are instructed to determine the probability as a percentage of randomly trying to get a seat in blocks 401 to 403 if all the seats in the stadium are available to be used. From the key given on Annex B, we see that a block number is given by this value, while the number of seats in that block is given by this value. So the total number of seats in block 401 to 403 will be 390 in block 401, plus 390 in block 402, plus 286 in block 403. This will give us a total number of seats from block 401 to block 403 of 1066. Also in Annex B, we are given the total number of seats per entrance in the stadium with the total number of seats in the stadium being 52,286. So the probability as a percentage of randomly trying to get a seat in block 401 to block 403 will be the total number of seats in block 401 to block 403 of 1,066 divided by the total number of seats in the stadium of 52,286 multiplied by 100 and this will give us a probability as a percentage of 2,04%. In question 223, you are instructed to determine the scale rounded to the nearest 100 of the layout plan if the length of the playing field is 125 meters. The first step in determining the scale of the layout plan is to determine the map length of the playing field in centimeters or millimeters. Here I choose to measure the map length of the playing field in centimeters. Using a ruler, we measure the length of the playing field to be approximately 8,5 centimeters. This means that 8,5 centimeters on the map equals 125 meters in reality. Next, we are going to either convert the 8,5 centimeters to meters or the 125 meters to centimeters because the ratio scale has to be written with the same units. So we choose to convert the actual distance of 125 meters to centimeters. Now we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, so 125 meters equals 125 multiplied by 100 centimeters, and this equals 12,500 centimeters. So this means that 8,5 centimeters on the map equals 12,500 centimeters in reality. Now dividing both sides of this equation by 8,5, we get a scale of 1 centimeter equal 1,470,588235 centimeters. Rounding this to the nearest 100, we get a scale of 1 to 1,500. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.